Good morning. Welcome to the morning prayer meeting. We, if you have the Bible, look at the John chapter 14. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you, I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. So know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can you know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yeah, you know the John 14 verse 6 very well about uh, Jesus confessed that I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Only through Jesus you can go to heaven. God never give us any other name to go to heaven. Only one name. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord Jesus Christ. And look at verse 1. Do not let your heart be troubled. Unfortunately, people live in this world, uh, their heart be troubled. If your heart be troubled, everything troubled. Can I say this again? If your heart be troubled, everything is troubled. But everything is troubled in this coronavirus time. But if your heart is a standstill, if your heart is not troubled, if you have the great peace, You'll be okay. You understand? That is why Jesus say, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in Jesus. Yeah, trust in God. Why? Why, we, why, why uh, we do not let our heart be troubled? Why? Because we trust in Jesus. We trust in God. If you trust in Jesus, if you believe in God, you don't need to be worried. You don't need to be troubled. Look at John chapter 14, verse 27. John chapter 4, verse 27 saying, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not, uh, do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. Jesus said again two times, Do not be troubled and do not be afraid. I'm telling you, people, they, 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 they fear of that. Actually, what is the most dangerous enemy in these days? Fear, fear. Fear itself is, uh, is dangerous. Do you understand? Fear of future. Fear of death. Fear of, uh, you know, many, many things in our life. Don't be afraid. Yeah? Do not let your heart be troubled. Never, never. Your heart is very important. Actually, John 16, verse 33, Jesus say, I have told you these things so that in, you, in me you may have peace. You see, in Christ Jesus you have peace. In this world you will have trouble. I'm sorry to tell you, you will have trouble. This is the word of Jesus. Trouble means a situation I talk about. But Jesus said, but take heart. Do not let your heart be troubled. Your heart is most important. Jesus said, in this world, when you live in this world, unfortunately, you will have trouble. But your heart, but take heart. I have overcome the world. Don't lose your heart. Don't lose your heart. Don't lose your peace. Don't lose your confidence. Don't lose your joy and grace and mercy. What given to you? Do you understand? In the last day, yeah, especially for born again Christian, your heart never be troubled in Jesus' name in the last day. But be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Look at verse 2. Do you know what Jesus say? When I go to heaven, yeah, he say, I will prepare a place for you. Jesus prepare your accommodation in heaven. <coughs> yeah, I'm telling you, when we go to heaven, Jesus prepared the rooms for us. You know, I don't think it's only rooms, but you can have a palace, much better than Buckingham Palace. 
Yeah, much better than Windsor Castle. You know, I went to Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace. It's, it's a human man-made uh, palace, man-made place. But God, Jesus, he say, he say, I am going there to prepare a place for you. Yeah, I will play. I will prepare for you. He say that. Yeah. When you go to heaven, oh, you'll see your house. You'll have your home in, in, in heaven. You, know, you cannot compare your home in this world and heaven in, 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 in heaven. Do you understand? Yeah. And Jesus say, I will go to heaven, verse 3. If I go, I prepare a place for you. I will come back, you see. He'll go there and he'll come back and take you to be with me, which means rapture. You know, Jesus, I go to heaven and I'll come back again. I will meet with you in air. It's not wonderful. When Jesus Christ come back with the angel of the Lord and the angels bloom the trumpet and he called our names and we suddenly we meet Jesus in air. That's great today. And Jesus say, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be uh, where I am. You will be in heaven together with me. And if you look at the Acts chapter one verse eleven, Acts chapter one, yeah, Acts chapter one verse eleven, Jesus went to heaven. We call the ascension. Acts chapter one verse eleven, Madam Galilee, they said, "Why do you stand here looking into the sky? The same Jesus who has been taken from you into the heaven." will come back eh, in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Did the angels of the Lord speak to the 500 people on that day? Mountain of Olive, yeah? People surround, and the 500, so many, they saw Jesus. When Jesus ascended to heaven from the Mountain of Olive, 500 people saw, <coughs> and the angels of the Lord say to them, why do I stand here looking into the sky? And they said, the same Jesus. Jesus went to heaven now, and he will come back in the same way. You see? He went to heaven. He will come back again. That is great news. In the book of Thessalonians, chapter 4, we have to encourage one another by rapture. Rapture. It's a wonderful rapture. Uh, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 17 say. After that, we are who, who, who are still alive, are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever, you see? In the cloud to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the sky. Therefore, encourage each other with this word. What kind of word? About the rapture about the second coming of Lord Jesus Christ. It's now wonderful news. Jesus will come back soon. How do I know? Jesus already spoke about the uh, end time. Now you can see the end time. We never have experienced like this kind of, you know, lockdown, pandemic, not only UK, all of the world, all of the world. All of the world is, uh, you know, is people uncomfortable now because of this coronavirus. But I encourage you, according to the, the scripture, take heart. Do not let your heart be troubled. Yeah, Don't be afraid. The Lord your God be with you in the last day. Look at the verse 4. Verse 4 say, You know the way to the place where I'm going. Jesus said to disciples, You know the way. Yeah, he said to disciples, you know the way. Actually, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. And verse 5, Thomas. Actually, Thomas is a very interesting man, one of the disciples. He always asked a question. He didn't believe. He said to Jesus, Lord, we don't know where you are going. Sure, how can we know the way? I don't know. We don't know the way. Where you are going? And you know, Thomas, he wanted to know uh, the way. Tell us about the way. Yeah. Unfortunately, people in this world, they don't know the way. 
they, they, they lost the way actually. They thought they're looking for a shortcut way, but it's not shortcut. They waste their time. If you are not born again, yeah, you live in this world, it's actually you waste your time. But if you give your life to Jesus, you can have a precious time in Christ Jesus. Do you understand? Thomas say, show us. Can you know the way? Show, uh, how can you know the way? They, he asked the question. Yeah. And then uh, people looking for the way. People looking for the truth in these days. Looking for the way. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. Yeah. I was in Korea, uh, I think uh, last year. I had a lunch together with uh, some pastor's family. And then pastor spoke to me. Pastor Paul, this area is a rural area. There is a uh, mountain and uh, nothing in here. But the government made a new way. Because of they made a way, do you know what happened? They made a like high street, beautiful street, brand new way. Do you know what they do? People, they move into there, they build a restaurant, um, build a clothes shop. It's like the you know, high street. So many people come and go in that street. And then the pastor said to me, do you know that Jesus is the way? <laughs> Can you imagine? They made the people made the way first, and then it's the economy booming. Do you understand? They made the way, and then opened the restaurant, opened the clothes shop, opened the so many shops, surround the, you know, the way. And people, they come there, and they're shopping in there. Full of people. And I knew when Jesus said, I am the way. If you recognize that Jesus is the way in your life, you'll be okay. Can I say again? If you recognize that Jesus is the way, the only way, one way, yeah? he is the way to heaven. Yeah? Not two ways, not three ways. Only one, one, one way to Jesus. One way to heaven. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, your life will prosper. Your life will completely transform. If Jesus is the way in your life. Look at verse 6. John 14 verse 6 is a very famous word. You know, most evangelists today use the scripture. Jesus answered for Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Through Jesus, you can go to heaven. God never give us any other name to be saved. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. Yeah. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. Yeah? Yeah. No Jesus, no life. Which means no and no. No Jesus, no life. Also, no Jesus, no life. Same pronunciation. K-N-O-W. No. <laughs> no Jesus, no life. If you know Jesus, you know life. Have Jesus, have life. Do you understand? If we have Jesus, yeah, you have the way, you have the truth, you have the life. Jesus say, do you know, look at the John chapter 8 verse 32. But it's a very important scripture, well known, John 8 32. Yeah. Then you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Who is the truth? Jesus. Yeah. If you know the truth, yeah. Know the truth. K N O W. Know the truth. Yeah. The truth will set you free from bondage of sin, from all the darkness. You need to know the truth. Do you understand? Do you know the truth? Do you know Jesus? Do you know life? Do you know the way? Yes, I know the way. Because I know the way why I go to the street to do, preach the gospel for people. People, they don't know the way. They live in darkness. They are so confusing. They don't know where to go. They don't know the way. They don't know the meaning of life. They don't have the purpose of the life in this world. That is why Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. 
remember, he is the way to heaven. He said, <laughs> no one, no one, yeah, no one comes to the Father except through me. No one. You know, ecumenical, ecumenical movement, they say, they working together, even WCC is working together with Roman Catholic and some other religion. It's terrible. Do you know what they say? There is a big mountain in their mountain, yeah? But there is many ways to go to the top of the mountain, on the south and north, the way, uh, west or east, wherever. In the name of Allah, you can go to the top of the mountain. In the name of Buddha, you can go to the top of the mountain. In the name of any, even in the name of Jesus, you can go to the top of the mountain. Can you imagine what Jesus say? Jesus say very clearly, what do you say? <laughs> no one, no one comes to the Father except through me. Top of mountain is heaven. Do you think in the name of Allah go to heaven? No. In the name of Buddha go to heaven? No. No other name. That is why Acts chapter 4 verse 12 say, this is the word of God. Acts chapter 4 verse 12, salvation is found is no one else, you see, no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved. Only Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ. God never give us any other name to be saved. That is why Jesus say, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Only through Jesus you can go to heaven. And then, therefore, you know, people say Christianity is not popular religion because they have the only say only one way. Mm. Yeah, but we have to tell him the truth. We shall know the truth. Then, truth set us free. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, people they compromise with the world, compromise with the <coughs> some other religion. You know, Christian is not religion, it's a relationship with Jesus. Mm. This morning, I just encourage you, please remember that God never gave us any other name to be saved. Mm. Salvation is salvation, no other name. Only mm. one name. His name is Jesus Christ. Mm. And Jesus say, do not let your heart troubled, but take heart, take heart. Be strong, courageous. The Lord your God be with you. Don't look at the left and right. Don't look at the situation. Don't look at the circumstance. Don't look at the somebody. But fix your eyes on Jesus. Amen. Fix your eyes on Jesus all the time, 24-7, every second. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Fix your mind on Jesus. <laughs> fix your heart on Jesus, on things above. Not any other worldly things, earthly things, no more. Fix your mind or your eyes on Jesus all the times. And one day, Amen. You reach to heaven. Amen. When you reach to heaven, when you arrive in heaven, God will say to you, Well done, good and faithful servant. And you may say to Jesus, Thank you, Lord. You are the one to help me. You are the one to took my life. And then by your grace and your mercy, I reach to heaven. And then you can hug with Jesus. <laughs> Do you know that Stephen in the early, early church, when he when he become martyr, when he died for Jesus, by storm people they stoning to kill him. When Stephen, before enter the heaven, God opened the gate of heaven, and Stephen he saw. Do you know what Stephen saw? Jesus stood up. The position of Jesus, uh, he sit at the right hand of God, in throne, in heaven. But God opened the gate of heaven. How Jesus welcomed this man, Stephen. When Jesus, uh, when Stephen just before entered <coughs> heaven, God, I mean Jesus, he cannot sit down on the chair. He stood up. In Israeli culture, Middle East culture, when somebody enter and stand up, is great respect. I want to see that day, one day. One day, my, my last breath finish, Jesus will welcome me in heaven. One day, I will see him face to face. 
There is no more sorrow in heaven. There is no more pain, no more darkness, no more shadow. Full of glory of the Lord in heaven. How about you? You and me, you need to wait for this uh, uh, glorious rapture. Jesus will come back very, very soon. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. You say to us, uh, I am the way and truth and the life. Jesus spoke to the disciples, uh, I will come back. I will prepare the room for you in heaven. I will prepare and then I will return and I'll be with you. And you'll meet with me in air. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. And then, Lord Jesus, we thank you. You prepared our house, our room in heaven. One day we'll live together with you forever and ever. We're looking for, we're longing to see that day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wake up. Jesus will come back very, very soon. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. God bless you, Pastor Richard. Be blessed. Bye now.